Hello folks, this is 2015 October November paper 2-3 and uh, question number is 7. It is concerned with the, proper, uh, the chapter of deformation of solids. It says that a steel wire of a cross-sectional area 15 mm square, so the cross-sectional area is equal to 15 mm square, which will be equal to 15 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter, then square equal to 15 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square has an ultimate tensile stress of 4.5 into 10 to the power 8 newton per meter square so we have got uh, this uh, stress max stress max is equal to 4.5 into 10 to the power 8 newton per meter square it means that uh, beyond that stress the uh, wire will snap so uh, we have to find calculate the maximum tension that can be applied to the wire so that means we have to find the maximum force the wire can uh, the wire can handle so that means that we must have stress max should be equal to stress max should be equal to the tension force max by the cross section so it should be t max should be equal to equal to stress max stress max into area so that's equal to uh, one five sorry the first stress 4.5 into 10 to power 8 into one five into 10 to power minus 6 so when I use the calculator, its value will then be equal to equal to six seven five zero newton. So it is six seven five zero newton. Now in the second question, we are given the steel of the wire has density seventy eight hundred kg per meter cube. So rho is equal to seventy eight hundred uh, kg per meter cube. The wire is hung vertically, so it hangs vertically. Calculate the maximum length of the steel wire that can be that could be hung vertically before the wire breaks under its own weight. So when we uh, go on adding the length of the wire, its weight increases, and the same weight will uh, exert force on the wire. And uh, what is happening here is it is breaking under its own weight. So we have to find the maximum length possible for that purpose. So for that purpose, what we have is uh, <coughs> so this is the T max. This is the T max. So the T max, the force max is provided by the weight of the uh, weight of the um, wire. So that means T max is equal to the maximum weight of the wire it can handle. So that's equal to mass maximum into G. That's again equal to mass equal to rho into volume maximum into Z. And this volume is equal to rho A into length maximum into G. Because in a cylindrical wire, in a cylindrical wire, the volume is equal to this length into this cross and area. So A into L max into Z. So we should have L max is equal to T max divided divided rho A G, which will be equal to T max is 6750 Newton. Rho is equal to this 7800 into cross sectional area is we have done somewhere here. So this thing. So it is 1 5 into 10 to the power minus 6. And then, then, then G is equal to 9.81. So when I do this calculation, it will be so 6750 divided. Um, this, this, this is this, 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 this. So the whole thing will come out to be equal to equal equal to 5881 meters. And that's equal to in a normal words, it is 5.881 kilometers. So I'm uh, converting into kilometers to just to make uh, you aware about the length that is required so it is 5881 meters this much so it means uh, such a huge length is required so that it will uh, snap under its own weight so we cannot make uh, uh, we can suspend a wire of infinite length because of these weight issues which gets over its uh, ultimate breaking force or we call it as ultimate uh, tension that it can suffer